Hey, Jess. Hey, Dr. Living Good. Guess what? What? Guess what day it is. What day is it? Field Trip Friday! hey -o. Sure is. Welcome to the show, Dr. Living Good, Nurse Living Good. We're here. We're here. The Whole Foods. Yep. We still can't go in where you can hear us, so we're outside. Outside. You already did the dirty. We're so... We're so close, guys. We're so, so close. close. For so you to be close. able to hear us in the store. <laughs> well, toiletries. We're in search of non-toxic ones today that don't compromise and sabotage your immune system and your hormones. That's coming at you in just a second. I know you got some stuff in the cart there. There's also a sale on this stuff at Whole Foods if you got one near you this week, maybe. I guess there is one in ours. There That's pretty mine. cool. If I you don't, up. we got you. We're going to show you exactly what to use and links dropping straight to it. Boom. I wish we could just take you through the aisles. Oh but my gosh, we would have so much fun re grabbing every label and being like, are you kidding me? Tom's, are you, you kidding me? You sell out to someone else and you just decide <laughs> to put crap in your stuff? Coming in hot. I don't even know if that's true. It is well, true. wait till you see some of the ingredients just in things. We're going to give you a simple list, just toiletries. So I'm talking like toothpaste, deodorant, shampoo, lotion. That's it today. We're going to stop there because we could go on and on and on. But four or five just major ingredients that you've got to watch out for in these things and make sure that they're not in it, or at least on the bottle says it's not in there. So right. the brand is making an effort. Welcome to Field Trip Friday. What's up, everybody? Good morning. Should we walk? Let's walk. Let's walk. Let's walk around the around the building here. I don't have any Good songs morning. for you today. Would you like me to sing? No music? Well, because my phone is being used. Oh, no tunes, DJ Jazzy Jess. Well, I can sing a song? Get in there. Stop. Okay. Can't wait for you to show us. Are we going, where are we going? Well, I, I don't know. Car, yeah, we can go to the car. Oh, well, I don't need this then. Oh. Ditch the buggy. Do you the call buggy. it a buggy? Oh my gosh. Who do you calls call, it a buggy? Who calls do you, it? Do you guys call it a buggy or do you call it a cart? And do you What's put the consensus? Back, and do you put it back? That's that's question one. Is it a buggy or a cart? And do you put it back over and, there in the middle of the and then, parking lot or do you put it back where the carts? No, there isn't an example. It'd be funny to throw. Oh, there is one way over there. No, is that one over there? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so are we, and then question two is this. So way way over there in the parking lot is one sitting in the middle of the grass. How many of you are that guy? I just wanna know why they parked or gal. over there first. <laughs> so, why, who's why a cart lever? <laughs> who's a cart lever? Come on, admit it. Admit it, you lazy sucker. <laughs> you just called someone lazy. What are we doing <laughs> Who here? leaves them out in the middle of the, in the parking lot? Oh, we got a lot of buggies. Buggy, are y'all from the south? Wow, where does that originate from? I mean, it's always been a cart to me. I don't know. Oh, maybe we just sit here. That's nice. Uh, cart, yep, some carts. Who's who leaves them? We're tailgating with you. I wish I would have bought tailgating. We're tailgating. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So who leaves them in the middle of the parking lot? You can't walk it back. You won't even. You guys won't even admit it if you do that. I I don't ever do that. I no, can, I, can I actually, probably say that. I actually pride myself in like being probably the only person that walks all the way across the parking lot. Like, I'm like, see, I'm doing my good deed of the day. <laughs> Get yourself some exercise too, okay? It's just, you just think of Dr. Living because the next time you're well, just going to ditch I that thing. I also always know if I do go to the store, I typically have kids. So I also always do know that I got a good solid 10 minutes till they're actually in their seats buckled up. <laughs> Well, I got all day to walk those carts. I could get all the carts and they still didn't. <laughs> what I'm laughing at is it's only the proud people that put them back every time that are speaking up. No, I put mine away oh, every yeah. time. It's not like someone's <laughs> going to be like, I'm that guy. <laughs> That's why they hire people to go it. pick them up. I get it. Mm -hmm. You know, I know you don't floss regularly. Leave your cart out in the middle of the. <laughs> well, I've probably done it. I've pro I'm not saying I haven't maybe. Yeah, I know. Maybe like if it was snowing or something. <laughs> I was in shorts. It's a matter of character. Sandra's questioning their character for leaving it out there. Well, let's I don't break ever down. Want my character questions. I will push that car. I will push yours and mine back. Let's break down these toiletries. They're sabotaging your immune system and your hormones. Huge effect on them. Four big dogs today, and then four products to focus on. And then we're going to give you a solution list as we go. Are you ready? 
Let's do this. I, I wish even we could just... feel bad if I put it in the thing out there. Oh, like you didn't take it back into the store? Yeah, like, I'm sorry, buddy. I can, I can take it so, back. Yeah, I mean, that does employ someone, you know, to, I like, know. go out and get the, I know. the Especially thing. on those cold days. I mean, or I'll be the person who carries 12 bags. Like, I got this. <laughs> what do you want? All right. Let's, what do you want me here? Let's get in here. Here, you want to hold the phone? Yes. Oh, you're going to be sweating. Love, I would love an arm workout for the day. Okay, what top of the list. What do you want to start? Well, here's the Hello? thing. Can you guys hear us? Are we windy? Okay, the phone's in there. That shouldn't be too bad, right? Shouldn't be. So a lot of these toxins that we're going to show you right now are banned in Europe. A lot of other countries banning them. But most ingredients are banned in Europe. In some countries, fine. 1,400 chemicals. Like, banned. Banned. About we're going to show you. Yeah. You've got a lot of stuff. Yeah, well, it's just, it's kind of a disgusting market. They're not regulated. Well, the FDA regulates food, and Congress has given FDA the ability to regulate food, but they haven't given the FDA the ability to, <laughs> whatever your thoughts are on the FDA, they haven't given them the ability, though, to regulate the chemicals that are in your, like, lotions and shampoos and toothpaste. They don't regulate them. They say, go ahead and self-regulate. They do. They do. You regulate yourself. I'm sure they have your best interest in mind, not their margins. Although, I think, I don't know, the world might be a better place right now if, it was, if we all self-regulated a little more. Is it a little more, more self-regulation? <laughs> so, and then all this stuff goes on your skin. you got to put about an average of 12 products on every day. Isn't that crazy? When you think about the toothpaste, the deodorant, the lotion, the shampoo, shampoo the, the hair gel or hairspray, the body wash, the shaving cream, the, the makeup. I mean, all these different things going on your skin. And your skin is the master absorber. It's one of your detoxifiers. It's one of the seven. But you got that big old layer of skin to try to protect you and it just sucks all this stuff up. 25%. 25% oh, of, oh, nice, of what you put on your skin goes right into the, blood, the bloodstream. How much? Tw up to 25%. So the skin covers 90% is the biggest organ. Yeah. 90% of your body, is that right? Ish? No, 100% of your 90% of your or skin. What are you trying to say? Absorbs. And no, it goes right to your. Tw up 25% of what you put in on your skin. Absorbs. And it goes right to your bloodstream. Yep. Right into the bloodstream. Some of them can't fit through, but there's a lot of stuff that goes right through. And so this is tied to eczemas. This is tied to allergies. This is tied to compromised immune systems, sometimes cancers, um, even digestive related issues. And so if you are dealing with some of those symptoms, you got to be paying attention. All of us need to our environment. So not only do we need to detox ourselves from what's already in there, we need to start detoxing our environment. This is fixing your filters and step one to fix your filters. Stop toxifying them. That's step one. Give them a break. So that's why this stuff matters. But you kind of change these things over over time. I know sometimes switching this stuff can be expensive. We're going to try to make it as cost effective for you um, with some of the links and some of the brands and just brands you can trust because some of these, I'm going to have a biochem miner and some of these, they're like, wait, is that one okay or not? Or it's like the coconut one we found. You're like, oh man. And so there's a lot of different versions of this. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right. Let's do this. So, number one, since you got a sweat going, did you get any? Were you able to find any deodorant in there? Or no, no, not they, this ours time. were out. Our out brand was deodorant. already sold out, which there's only one that we can even buy at Whole Foods. Okay, the rest is on. Let's do this. Okay. Well, here, no, you hold it. Yeah, I'll I'll, hold let it. me tell them about you the bad stuff. Me, okay, so, you tell us. a lot of deodorants, we're looking at aluminum because we're going to smear that on and it's going to literally plug the sweat glands so that it doesn't perforate. Yeah. Good concept. Well, I understand kind of, what you're, you're trying to do. You're your body from doing a natural process. Oh, for sure. You're not letting that sweat out, so you're, you're actually blocking your detoxification. That's a problem. Aluminum, the problems with it is that it can create genomic instability. You heard it say, right here, folks. Say, what's that? <laughs> what's that, Dr. Living Good? <laughs> it's going to allow the cell to mutate a lot more. And so that creates problems, especially hormones. Hormone disrupting, they can start to mimic, as you're gonna find out, a couple of these chemicals do. So aluminum's the big one in deodorant, aluminum-free deodorant. Like if you're the one thing with your deodorant that you gotta switch over, we gotta get the aluminum out of there. Yeah, if you think about it, I think it's a crazy concept to me. If you think about it, um, your tissue under your arm is so sensitive and so thin too. And there are so many hormones and, um, what's the word I'm looking for, lymph nodes 
yeah. right underneath your arm tissue. So if you think about too, like you're putting it on right after you shower typically, where your pores are wide open, and then it's just seeping right into those lymph nodes, in, which is supposed to help you detoxify, and it's seeping right into your bloodstream, and it's just a really sensitive area. So if you think about like putting chemicals and toxins right on that area, I just naturally start to wonder like, oh my gosh, is that why we have so many lymphatic or hormonal type of cancers going? You can't, they aren't linked to it right now, but I don't think they would probably tell us. That's my opinion. Or even if you have a sweating issue, it's like, and if you've been, you've been trying to use this and you've been Let lathering up with you. aluminum for a long time, it might be overreacting because it is now, you you blocked it. So it had to try to create more sweat to get you cooled off. And so that you actually have increased the amount of production that your sweat glands are giving you. Makes you wonder, makes you wonder. So aluminum free deodorant, you can make your own deodorants to do it yourself, but we got a list of them here. I will I post I used to be a them. sweater. And <laughs> not a sweater that you wear. I used to be a sweater. And I really think that by cleaning up my gut too, like I, fi I fixed the cause. Like I was a sweater, but I also had a really toxic gut. Just saying. I used to be a sweater. I used to be a sweater. Quote of the day. <laughs> I don't really have much to contribute. I can, buy these, it makes a I can buy these ingredients and I can hold the phone, but I used right. to be a sweater. Well, I just posted it up. Oh. The kind that you use, the kind that I use, okay. and the, really the link to all of our home products that we love, not the ones, we don't make these or anything like that, it's just the stuff we use, but there's a link for it. If you do have a Whole Foods close to you, um, ours is running a sale, uh, otherwise just go to Amazon, which is tied to Whole Foods anyway, and you can get those discounts. Those links are right there, they just take you to Amazon so you can be able to get them super easy. So all of our home care products, but specifically his and hers deodorant, aluminum free. Next! His and hers. Sometimes I use yours. Did you know that? No. Did I ever, do I ever smell yeah. like a man? Go ahead. Do you no. ever use mine? No, you don't ever smell like do you ever a use, man. Do you ever use mine? Admit it. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's like lavender. <laughs> Look at this little toiletry. Next is... Oh, I didn't... Paste. So this one isn't... I don't know what they have changed. They. They have well, changed something recently, and I need to do more research, but this one's ranking higher right now. Oh, we got two of them. We got All right, two, but so, they're both on the market, and they're both ones we use, so. Number one thing we got to watch out for with toothpaste, S-L-S, -S, or S-L-E-S, sodium lauryl sulfate, or sodium lauryl ether sulfate, both the same. Sodium lauryl sulfate, worse, sodium ethyl sulfate, your liver can't break it down, so it sits in the body a lot longer. So sodium lauryl is the worst of the irritant, but the other one stays in you longer, so they're both bad. we got to be watching for those. And Great sometimes they'll, they'll tell you fake names, right? Like the ers or the ethyls and the... Yeah. Th there's fake There's fake names for them sometimes. Not fake. <laughs> concealed I, names. Concealed names. They hide them, and they can mean 12 different things because they're not regulated, remember. What are some ers? Or F, the Fs? Fs? All the Fs. Okay. Keep e going. ETH. Yeah. Yep. It ends in ETH. So you're watching out for those. So okay. this one's good. None of that going on in here. This is really straightforward. We yeah. have this one at home. This I got a miniature doctor. one for travels. Perfect. <laughs> so Dr. Bonner, Bronner, sorry. I don't know him, but he makes good stuff. <laughs> he does make good stuff. He probably doesn't own the company anymore. So I'm sure someone bought him out. Coconut oil. Coconut Which is what flour. happened to Tom's, by the way. Everyone no. thinks Tom's is still natural, and they got bought out by big companies. And so now. Clorox. You, yeah, so now they have toxic stuff in their stuff. They added Clorox. So, 1 4 dioxin is associated with SLS, and that's a hormone disruptor. So, SLS itself is an irritant, and then it gets cross contaminated and contains a lot of 1 4 dioxin, which you're not gonna see on the label just knowing like you're getting a double dose of toxicity there, that is an endocrine disruptor and it mimics your hormones as well in your toothpaste. So sodium lauryl sulfate- Well, SLS is in everything, right? Well, it's anything that suds. That's what makes it like everything that suds up. So this is probably gonna be found in shampoos. It's probably gonna be so, found in cleaning products, in, but yeah. toothpaste is the main Laundry, one that so. I see it. This one, who is this? David. I don't know who David is. David has not got bought out yet. You know, I just like that, that it says fluoride free. It says sulfate free. I mean, they're paying attention to this thing. Look right there. 
SLS free right on the I side of the box. I love when packages will tell you what it doesn't have in, or I love when it'll tell you when something, like there are big long names that will confuse you. And I love when they put in parentheses, plant derived or coconut derived, because a lot of these natural companies do use big names. They le they do have to put on their, on their ink box something, but they can't just put like coconut. So you, they put a, their big long chemical name and in, I love in parentheses when they'll put like coconut derived. Yeah, this has some xylitol to make it taste a little bit better. There's several oils in this. Uh, we got a wintergreen leaf, Yay. a little bit of stevia in here, so there's no sugars. So very solid, David. Well done. Never well, used that kind, but David there's a good one. David and Bronner. Dr. Bronner. So you, can, so you can get this stuff. There's links right there for it. I, the problem with SLS, so it's it's the foaming agent. It contains other chemicals. It also attaches to other chemicals. And so that's what, especially nitro-based products, nitro, nitro means, it can oh, yeah. attach to those. And then that increases cancer risk and those can be known carcinogens. And so this stuff like in our baby products, and they're just completely unregulated. 57% of baby products contain this stuff. And we're just lathering it on our kids and sudsing them up because they like the soap and they like the bubbles. Oh my gosh, I was looking today. I wish I should have, I would have. This is when I wish we could go inside. I was looking at the difference in some of our even same brands that we buy. And I was looking at the difference between the adult one and the kids ones. Because a lot of people ask us, well, what do you use for your kids? We use the same stuff that I get the kids the same stuff I would. Like they will use the same toothpaste and they flipping love it. They don't need watermelon or cherry or whatever flavored toothpaste. But um, their ingredients were longer and I didn't know the names and they had natural flavorings and stuff, which we'll get to. But um, so I didn't trust it. I didn't know. I'm like, if the ingredient list is longer for me, I'll just let them use mine. Back to you. Back to you. For, so, the, for the big names. Toothpaste are posted up. Uh, in the links right there, I, uh, I pinned one, so you guys see that. It's also in the Baking description. Yeah, that's good. And then for all things that we use uh, in our house, uh, some of our favorite stuff that's actually in our bathroom right now like this, uh, there's a link there for you to go to the market and you'll be able to see it. Um, what did you just say? Something you just said. Uh, kids, longer ingredients, fragrances, natural ingredients. I don't remember. I was going to say something else. but Oh, the, you said baking soda. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah you can soda. use baking soda for whitening. Uh, I like hydrogen peroxide a couple times a week as well, just to keep everything nice and clean. There's some whitening effect there. So that's the big one for toothpaste. No SLS. Deodorant. No aluminum. Boom, boom, boom check, boom. check. Okay, so next, let's go to shampoo. Doctor, doctor, give us the news. Got a brand new clean shampoo. Yeah, they didn't have mine that I used, so I'm going to try this one. It was pink. It was cute. Oh. Matched my shirt. Build up balancing hemp and ACV. It got me with the ACV. <laughs> yeah, you know me. You're going to be in the shower. Just dun, 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 dun. You know I'm with ACV. Yeah, you know me. I think me. it's unscented, but whatever. I just tried it. Fragrance-free hemp seed pink. oil and ACV hair reset for styled Swim in harsh conditions shampoo. Yeah, we'll be swimming this summer. Sure. Well, I like, okay, so then you go right below it. This is what you're looking for, you guys, so. Where am I? I'm, not, I'm watching you. Okay, paraben free, sulfate free, mineral oil free, petro, petro, petrolatum free, formaldehyde free, cruelty free. Like, they're going to broadcast if they put the work in mm -hmm. to get this stuff out. We like Acure, it's a good brand. Don't personally know them, but they've been friendly. No, and they're good. They have long ingredient lists, but um, like I said, I, I take them all I put them into EWG and I make sure that they're plant derived and all of them so far have checked out to be or they're using sometimes they can trick you too with names and they'll say it's a bad one but it'll be like two letters off and it's actually more of the plant or fruit derived um, version that's cleaner and doesn't connect like he was saying to a toxin that could become a carcinogen in your body so you just kind of have to know essentially if it's just doesn't look good or sound good it's probably not good yeah, I mean, there's some longer ones on here, and we actually but ran these through them, yeah. a couple checkers, and they, they made a conscious effort to get the better version of some of these sodium, cocal, glutamate, Those are all methyl, coconut cocal, derived. taurate. They are coconut-derived, and they are the good version of it. What we're really looking for with shampoos and even lotions, no fragrances. If it just says fragrance, if it says perfume, you got to be like, no, 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 get that out. Those things are so unregulated. It's sort of like artificial flavorings. Like no one really knows what they're made out of and they don't have to divulge it. That's the same we thing. We know what ours are because we, we made Those are them. natural ones and those you got to watch out for unless you know the company. But to make a conscious effort uh, for 
fragrance. It, on the front, it's you know, fragrance free. That's what we're looking for. It doesn't mean you can't still have something in there that makes it smell okay. Oils it's just the word stuff. fragrance or the word perfume that's going to be a problem because they're completely unregulated. They're banned in Europe a lot of times, and we have no clue what we're smearing on our system. And then a lot of times you get a lot of phthalates with those. And so these phthalates are, again, endocrine disruptors, known irritants. They create allergies in the body. So you are willingly taking those in the phthalates just with fragrance or perfume so if you're going to get a lotion or a shampoo no fragrance we got to watch for that boom i also got another one i like um i like to switch my stuff up too i don't like to be i don't like to use one thing too long so i switched up um and got a this one it's on the market too avalon organics they're a really clean company they do a nice job of making sure it's all plant derived as well and um this one is rosemary I don't know. I just picked one. I was in a hurry in there. But um, a fragrance like that, they will pick the pure extract of it or essential oil of it. Boom. I thought I would try that one. Yeah. Rosemary. Who doesn't like a little rosemary? I'm going to look fresh. at that benzoate. I'll run that through a checker. Oh, is there one in there? Yeah, there's a benzoyl alcohol and a sodium benzoate, which oh. is really weird. Well, the other flavor that I bought... Yeah. That I had bought last time did not have those. So sometimes I'll I go look those a new up. Flavor. I don't like anything benzene oh, related. Oh great! Oh great! You guys, now I have to return something. Nice try, Mrs. Living Good. Nice try. So, but it's a lot guys, to read. I'm That's why I wanted to highlight them. We mess up still too. <laughs> I wanted to highlight the big ones, like when you're looking at deodorant, aluminum, toothpaste, SLS, shampoo, no fragrance, no perfume, and then you could start to understand, like anything benzene related we got to watch out for but let's go to lotion as well okay let's do it let's do this it looks like you got a couple oh, that's a soap oh, that's a lotion that's a, oh. did we talk about soaps no okay what's that i don't know i don't know what's in there lotion no animal testing no parabens no synthetic fragrance yeah it says right on the no sketchy fillers <laughs> no harsh chemicals no worries it says nice Yep, made of plant-based extract. Yep, unscented for sensitive skin. Yep, zero wa waste manufacturing. Yep, family-owned. Yep, made with love. <laughs> so that's just a brand that cares about your health a lot more. So I'm kind of looking for that stuff, and I'm willing to spend a little bit more for myself and my family. Oops. Coconut oil, aloe vera, and vitamin E uh, all in this one. So I you... like that brand. It's a clean brand. They have a... I like this, too. I don't know. Oh, sorry about that. If I... I might have just dropped the Avalon Organics that I have to return. <laughs> Did it crack open? No. Um, I like this soap too, especially for the kids. It's all in one. I need a conditioner more than them, but um, for them, they can do a bath wash. They love that it makes bubbles and shampoo all in one. That's been a really clean brand, and that's the brand that I use for the lotion. I use this on them too, the um, fragrance free one. Big thing I want to see with lotion is no parabens. And so they put parabens in. Parabens prevent the molding, so shelf life goes up. But it'll, these ingredients will begin to mold over time, so they add the parabens so it has a longer shelf life. Not so good for your shelf life. Parabens are see in a I lot of there? stuff too. Yeah, that's, mm -hmm. that's your shelf life. and like your life. He means like your life, how long you're on the shelf in life. <laughs> These are linked to cancers. Journal of Applied Toxicology uh, did a study. It's actually linked to breast-related cancers, uh, the parabens are. So getting a lot of those into the system. Uh, they are known hormone disruptors. So if there is a fear or a family history of breast cancer in your family, parabens have got to be watched out for for any, every product. And a company that's doing it right is going to put it right on there. There's no yeah. parabens in here. And they're making a conscious effort to do that. So that's the big one to look out for in your lotion, uh, as well as any fragrances. Those rules both apply for shampoos. Toothpaste is SLS. Deodorant is aluminum. If you just start there and start knocking that down and understanding it, you can dig in. You can go to Environmental Working Group and start looking through all kinds of ingredients and studying it and checking out your products. Um, we've vetted a lot of them for you. The links are right there. So the lotion that we have right now, the shampoo we have, the deodorants we have, and the toothpaste we have, I put those links directly to it so you can grab them. They're on Amazon, and we just made it easy for you to like, oh, cool, I can grab that. If you're near a Whole Foods, ours is doing a, a sale on it. Uh, you can check that out. Um, but Amazon is, they own Whole Foods, so you can be able to just get it online as well by clicking on those links, no problem. Yeah. So yeah, I think not for, sabotaging everything. No, and I think for me, um, I love, I like the cons, I like to think about like, 
simple concepts. So like, you coming in? Yeah. You want in here? Yeah. Uh, I think about like simple concepts. So for me, if I'm getting out like the hot shower where my pores are open, it's, everything is more vulnerable, so to say, as a like you're gonna go put on lotion right into your bloodstream. You're gonna go put on. You're already just put on soap and shampoo you're gonna go put on hair products and makeup right into that your deodorants is the same thing like one of the most toxic things in your house that you can do is um use a bad dishwasher soap because it heats up the pores or whatever that heat up and they spread everywhere throughout your house so if you have a toxic one it's spreading everywhere same with um if you're using hot water in your laundry it's soaking right into your material if you put a toxic soap in there and then you're gonna wear it all day next to your skin which again is absorbing a lot so i think if you think about those simple concepts people are like well i don't well deodorant's not going to kill me or a little bit of lotion's not going to kill me like you're right it's probably not going to kill you right away but like if you think about how much daily and how unregulated how toxic and then how much your skin is absorbing on a daily basis even if it's in the air um it's just it gets kind of like okay i'll minimize the best i can so these are just four things there are so many things to watch with um household and beauty product ingredients you go peeps wanted to see these them. are just four main things there's so many more so here is the conditioner and the shampoo people are like hold it still they wanted to see what it was okay we're kind of spastic guys no nah, it's you know, the, we're spastic the, we move a lot <laughs> the link is all there that these you have direct links to these pinned up and in the description there's a soap what's this one? three in one okay check out two Oh, of the toothpaste, David's, Dr. Bronner's. So these are some good examples. There's probably four or five different shampoos on the Living Good Daily Market. There's a couple of lotions on there. There's a couple of soaps. There's a couple of toothpaste. So these aren't the only brands, but there's links directly to what we have in our bathroom and why we've chose it to avoid hormone disruptors, immune system disruptors, uh, cancer causers, these chemicals, perfumes, SLS, aluminum, benzenes. We got to be watching out for these things to detoxify our environment. Those are slow changes you can start to make. And the next time you go to buy one, just pick the right one. And a lot of this stuff lasts quite a while. So it ends up being fairly cost effective. That's how you start detoxifying your environment. Except for toothpaste in our house because our kids eat it. Oh yeah. Yeah. When yeah, Glad it's clean. Eating, tooth, eating toothpaste. <laughs> you got to make sure. Glad they're not eating Avalon they, Organics. When they lick the toothpaste and really uh, brush their teeth three times at night. Yeah. Are, are our kids the only ones that do that? You, you brush twice or you just you just licked the toothpaste right off the toothbrush? You're supposed to give me that thing. I got to clean those teeth. <laughs> so you're all worried about this one now, huh? We yes. gotta, we're going to have to look it up. the last time I bought it, it didn't have any of it. You know, sometimes these brands change and so you kind of got to be up on them. And we try to be that for you. So the Living a Daily Market is all things mm -hmm. in our house from our toaster oven our blender so to our uh to, to our rebounder to uh shampoos deodorants and cleaners of the house it's all on there so we just put together a simple market you can just click on the links and it takes you over to amazon and you can get those things uh and just already know they're vetted uh we try to make that easy for you so <laughs> shanta says mine like to eat the toothpaste too <laughs> Yeah, so you could um, the environmental working group will give you um, some ideas if you need to like check a product that you have, um, but the Living a Daily Market we have all the ones that that uh, we kind of go through. So head on over there. There's links right there for you to the products we covered today. Little field trip Friday outside of Whole Foods. You don't have to have a Whole Foods. Amazon owns them now, and you can just get all of these things online really simply. And I think it makes it even easier for us to do what we do for you guys to vet this stuff, to share, uh, you know, brands and products that we love uh, with no affiliation. Just uh, here you go. Here's what we have. So check that out. And uh, yeah, we're in. Um, uh, we're at Whole Foods today, so we're outside of it. They are having a sale on their uh, skincare products and goods. That's kind of what brought you over here, wasn't it, Miss Living Good? She's always thank looking out for, for you guys. Thank you for coming shopping with me so I could get my stuff on sale. <laughs> <laughs> but you just go to, uh, you can just go to the links right there. Um, besides Amazon, uh, you know, then you just got to know some of these brands that we covered and I showed you all of them. Um, then you can just go to wherever you're at, you know, Target, Walmart, there, a lot of those places are going to have these types of products. Uh, and so Dr. Bronner's is a popular one, a cure. I know Target has that now. Um, do they? I think they do, don't they? I'm pretty sure. So, I don't know. 
checking all my products. Carrie says, thank you, DLG and Nurse Jessica for all you do. You got You're it. So awesome. Fabulous field trip Friday. Well, I'm sure glad you were here, Rayhan. You're the best part of it. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's gonna be a beautiful weekend, regardless where you live. Just make your mind up on it now and... Might as well. Never gonna get this weekend back. Now that's true. Happy field trip Friday, everybody. Go live good, make it a great one. We'll be back with you on Monday to get you some momentum for the week. Check out the links below. I also dropped in there the entire Immune You Masterclass four day recording to help you boost your immune system. Getting out these toxins are one way to not sabotage it. And then the links directly to some of those products. So there you go, you guys. You are welcome. Hit the share button if it was beneficial. It would mean the world to us. Bye from the living goods. Mm -hmm.